right. Uh, so this is my first time streaming on YouTube. I've never really done it before. So I will be troubleshooting a couple of bits and bobs before I can actually get started. Um, let's have a look. Okay, so Joe, first off, uh, can you hear me? Chat should be enabled. Um, let's see. Oh yeah, okay, there we go. How's the sound? Sounds good. Okay, perfect. I guess it's official. First YouTube live stream. Uh, now just <laughs> need some more viewers, but that's okay. Let's uh, actually try to get some publicity going. Oh, there we go. Okay, perfect. Thanks, Joe. So as you can see, I've done a couple sketches. The dragon wasn't for the R Station Challenge. That's just a fun shape design. Um, let's see what we can come up with. some references going. All right. So with this challenge, actually, Joe, did you just dive in blindly or did you actually have some idea of what it is that you wanted to do completely blind uh it's usually better to have some sort of plan but i have to admit my plan is still fairly uh limited overall All I know is uh, a couple of the characters that I want to do, but I'm mostly keeping uh, it to abstract shapes in that first phase. I know I want them to be a bit more of a gentle sort of knight. Oh, hey. Hey, uh, Sane, how you doing? Yeah, that's true. I mean, all of the... the Experimenting that you've done doesn't go to waste, right? Uh, it's just uh, how, like, what what you take with you when you actually move on to the uh, more specific or more focused designing stage, I guess. Right, this is a bit too much. Um, not not just showing Photoshop, but I have my um, my OBS set up so that I basically have black strips uh, to the side. So if I actually like minimize my Photoshop, you can see it's basically just framing my canvas. I don't know if that's actually worth doing. Some people, I guess, don't mind uh, looking at uh, um, 
all the tools and stuff. But I like to have my canvas a bit more clean. <laughs> well, you use a different version of Photoshop, so... Uh, well, um, OBS, I mean. So I'm actually not sure if it works the same way with your version. Alright, so this is supposed to be a bit more of the kind captain of the guards, I guess. Trying to get some more softer shapes in there. Just don't know how bulky I want him to be, basically. I know I want to push my shape design like fairly far for this challenge. Just unsure as to how far is far enough. Uh, don't you just crop it? Yeah, I just cropped the screen in uh, OBS and that did this work and did the trick. That's the first little sketch done. Getting that out of the way. It's usually not the most interesting anyway. Let's put it with the group. Mm. Maybe we can actually go a bit more... Uh, like a lot more extreme with our shapes. This challenge is actually a little bit tricky in my opinion, because uh, the modern element is really a curveball for me. I really don't know how to, to properly introduce that into to these designs. Just medieval is easy enough, but uh, I guess they had to, to keep it interesting, right?
<laughs> uh, yeah, I mean, don't think that's necessarily a bad thing. Going goofy with your designs usually is fun to do anyway. Um, and it's an easy way to sort of cover up for the fact that you don't really know how you're going to approach it. Like this guy, for example, it's not too bad. And just because I'm focusing on the shapes, uh, I can always add more modern stuff to this later. And I guess we could uh, try to incorporate some some like modern clothing maybe um, so let's see if we quickly create some bullet points for the character itself we could do so this is captain the guard uh, he is I suppose, what had I written down again? Uh, strong, key char characteristic. Um, like a gentle giant, maybe. Uh, maybe a little bit on the naive side. That's usually a good combination of uh, character traits. Um, and then, let's see, for weapon, kind of like this, this shovel sword that I have in a couple of these, like the, the more rounded off sword, I think that's quite fun. I'm definitely not settled on that. Um, what else? Gonna have to have armor, but the type of armor on shore. So far, I've kept it rather simple and plate armor esque, but maybe I could actually do something with a bit more uh, chainmail. Hmm. And for the modern elements, could do. You guys have any idea? What could be fun to incorporate? Maybe I could get like a hoodie in. <laughs> uh, yeah, same. I guess I can just try to make a list of things and, and kind of drag and drop on, onto my characters. So let's see. We have a, a hoodie, we have maybe a, like a cap or a hat. Could be fun, like an armored cap. And looks like a chicken hat. Distracted by his iPad. <laughs> okay. An iPad. What would a smart sword look like? And what would it even do? Hmm. Maybe I could find some, some more like specific modern pieces of equipment and gear. Like a... Maybe a bomber jacket. Okay. Let's see.
classic one would be like a plate armor and a big gun. Yeah, that's true. That's true. Uh, that's maybe a bit too too on the nose, but I might backtrack to that because I actually have some cool references for uh, like guns, like sword guns, hatchet guns, all types of weapons combined. Went to the museum museum in Paris. Uh, and they had like all kinds of crazy prototypes back in the day, like a mace gun. Let's see, maybe like a Jack won't work here per se, so let's try to approach this a bit differently. actually bulk this up quite a bit. <laughs> I've had a YouTube channel for uh, a while, but I just like appear and disappear every so often. Uh, but I should make a habit on uh, getting back to recording. I'm actually going to get a recording class uh, from my bosses at CGMA. Because I'll be recording a new, new uh, course for them. And they have to teach me how to do it first, uh, so that the quality of the course is actually like up to par. <laughs> we should try to become YouTube famous together. I think we made we'd make a, a good pair.
You know, I th still think I like the first one best. I think he's actually quite fun. Maybe the fat one, but I don't think he uh, actually shows off the right, the right vibes. And how are you doing actually right now? Like, like, what are you up to these days? <laughs> yeah, 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 I remember. should try to get these done a bit quicker just to not linger too much on one specific thing uh, let's see I do have to figure out what can work together first maybe it'd actually be a good idea to do some studying of like uh, types of armors and stuff first
This guy is kind of fun. Kind of dig it. <laughs> uh, shovel, shovel, sword, whatever you'd want to call it. Yeah. <laughs> kind of think it's uh, just a fun shape to play around with, although it's maybe too similar to the shield now that I look at it. Uh, although maybe it could, could double down as a shield. Hmm. Food for thought. What if we actually try like a completely different shape? One of my students used like this ridiculous shape for a, a character and I kinda fell in love with it. With like a, the shape of a football. <laughs> it's quite difficult to make work, but it's unique. A bit of mustache, beard. <laughs> Are you this large, Joe? I guess I'll, I'll find out in a bit. Mustache. <laughs> okay, that's fair. But this is not you anymore. Didn't your mustache disappear? back in May, okay. Perfect. You study at the Institute of Arts? Okay. Makes you feel bad at drawing, that's not good. How come?
cramp this guy in there. And we're getting a good lineup of uh, these boys, these men rather. Okay, so let's see. I like the first one. number seven so maybe it's time to actually go a bit more specific <laughs> hey Kira yeah I am streaming Chunky legs for once, big feet. Okay, good work.
Uh, this should be smaller. <laughs> My YouTube channel is like a hidden gem of... <laughs> well, I haven't done much with it. Uh, and all of the stuff that's on there is not really very up to date. So I do have to get back to, to actually putting in an effort. Uh, but it's coming. I'll, I'll be... I'll be working on that, hopefully. The entire Easter break should be me recording. Uh, not necessarily for YouTube, but hey, might, I might be able to squeeze some, uh, some things in. Except for Joe, any of you guys thinking of uh, participating in the art station challenge this this time? can we do I have to make more room Kitten bombs, hidden gem. Okay, don't know him, I guess. Uh, I'll have to check it out. really prepared and give him like a, a million pouches. Bombs. Okay, let's actually have a look. Curious now. Uh, kitten bombs. 
if he's a patron, I should know them. Uh, oh yeah, yeah, I definitely recognize maybe even some of the assignments I've handed out. <laughs> Color and light. Okay. Cool. Yeah, subscribe it. Hey, no worries. I like the stuff, so I subscribe. Necessarily like where this is heading. So maybe let's throw a curveball. Yes, it's not gonna stay an egg. I think I'm gonna do changing the, the base shape now. Oh yeah, definitely. I do know Victor Staris. <laughs> Maybe a little bit, yeah. Oh hey, Andre. <laughs> Andro is actually a colleague of mine. We teach concept art together. <laughs> yeah. Uh, 
We're going especially we're going to Berlin just to have our stand off, to have our duel. Settle this once and for all. He's called me a filthy Belgian one too many times. <laughs> I mean, what's holding you back? Exactly. I guess this one can go on the pile. Didn't turn out turn out that bad. So we have this guy, who I still really like. I don't know exact exactly what about him I like. Maybe it's the face, like this shape. It's actually quite quite appealing. Mm. This one's gonna be a no. This one's gonna be a no. Uh, same for this one, and this one. Hmm. Maybe? Uh, no, and... Maybe. What do you guys think? Seven or nine. Yeah. Okay. I like the shapes in eight. Okay, which part specifically? Just the overall, like, chunkiness or... Chunky legs. Okay. I can see if I can bring that back, maybe. Maybe it's time to uh, switch thumbnailing methods. Just because uh, I feel like I'm starting to, to fall back on the same, same ideas. The big shovel thing? 
Yeah. I do like the big shovel thing. Hey, Narissa. <laughs> uh-huh. Definitely trying to have the, the shape of the weapon uh, echo the character itself. Character design is always a bit of a puzzle, figuring out exactly what you want, what works, what doesn't. Mm, let's see. No problem. Thanks for hanging out. See you next time. Maybe the little uh, bald spots actually don't touch. Like a monk.
Oh no, definitely not. Uh, this is something that I just I'm just trying out actually right now. Uh, although I do like to work sometimes with just a hard round brush, and I just get smaller as I, I start to refine the character more. Just very big smudges at first, and then sort of erase the shapes, kind of carve them out of the the silhouette that I put down first. Um, so that's something that I do tend to do from time to time, but it's not my my go-to uh, process. The go-to process is actually to just draw like uh, I did these, just sketching with lines. starting to look a little bit sleazy. character design uh, as a freelancer like if I do do concept art gigs it's usually character design uh, that I'll get hired for um, I also teach a character design module here in Belgium so I do know a fair thing about the process uh, but a lot of it's just just like organic messing around honestly like I would probably be my own worst student because I wouldn't really follow my own advice necessarily. Even though my advice is good. <laughs> I do have good advice, but uh, I tend to be a bit more uh, spontaneous. Notification sound? Um, no idea. I didn't hear anything.
see. Maybe I can actually have like a have a cloak. Although that wouldn't make a lot of sense. <laughs> uh huh. Same. Um, so that's why I'm trying it out right here to see how it would work. What if actually, like, double shovel sword? That could work. Sure. Better than the last one for sure. So that's something.
Uh, sure, yeah. I don't know how long I'm gonna uh, keep streaming, because uh, uh, in a minute I'm probably gonna have to start cooking. But sure, if you want to, to join, uh, feel free. Let me give you a, a ring. Hello. Hello. So I don't actually know if your sound's gonna be showing through, but normally it does, right? If I have my, my PC audio enabled. It should do. Okay, perfect. How are you doing? Um, I'm, I'm about to talk on stream. Oh, you're gonna stream as well. Uh, no, no, I mean, I'm about to hear my own voice on your stream. Uh, I see, okay. Yeah, yeah, just share through. Now I have to mute the stream, so I can't hear my own voice. <laughs> <laughs> That's okay. Looks like it's going well. Uh, yeah, I got some some fun sketches in. I think that's the trick: is to just have fun with it. Uh, that's why I'm I'm switching techniques so often. I think that's really really beneficial into uh, like not getting stuck doing the same thing. Although I I still am <laughs> sort of doing the same thing over and over again. Uh, but it's 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 getting there. It's tricky. It's tricky. And probably, if you uh, if I start working on this tomorrow, for example, uh, that's when I'll get a, like a proper clean slate. Yeah, I mean I've been thinking about this, which is I've spent about two or three hours doing sketching for it. But mm -hmm. that's, that's not the end of the world. I could I could absolutely change it, and I, I think I'm getting a better idea of how I might blend modern day and and uh, menu okay. out without okay. it looking a bit too silly. What have you come come up with? Well, at the moment, it's just very silly. It's just mm -hmm. medieval people with modern day items. Mm -hmm. um, but I want to give it another shot and try and actually start blending in items of clothing and i was mm -hmm. thinking like tech where would be a good direction to go in yeah so uh, like tech because that's already kind of techy and well tech wear is already a little bit sci-fi and sci-fi usually is very much like a, a bit medieval inspired yeah it's got interesting shapes and stuff um so i thought i'd look at doing that but... that's a good idea yeah, I'm not. I'm not going to be free this evening to do anything. Um, but mm, maybe see. tomorrow evening I'll be free. So uh, to just... Tomorrow I'll be doing feedbacks uh, for my CGMA students, but we'll see if I can squeeze something else in. I hope so, because I do do want to participate in this challenge. Like I, I started now, so yeah. I'm going to continue. I think that. Um, Eight characters is a lot in four weeks. Is that how long you had for the last art station challenge? Um, something like that, yeah. It's not too bad. Um, if you have the time to dedicate it, to, it to... just kind of means, yeah. Well, that's the one thing, and the other thing is it just means that the characters are going to be fairly like surface level deep. I mean, I don't know if you've looked at at the participants already, but like a lot of people sort of have like full-on designs done right now already yeah and yeah I, think they just I could the, yeah, the design true. stage they, they just like dive straight into to, uh, finishing their final character that's what i mean is you're not you're not gonna have an awful lot of uh, actual kind of iteration and and feedback on design and then acting on that feedback and things mm -hmm. but i suppose that's okay it because it was very tempting for me, obviously, I did that bard sketch in about an hour. Mm -hmm. And I, I could have spent the next two hours just refining it and making it look really nice. Mm -hmm. But then I wouldn't be designing, in a sense. Mm -hmm. So I don't, I don't know. I don't know I, how I want to approach it. Yeah, I think I have enough sketches like now to uh, kind of get started. 
I'll, I'll just have to figure out how I'm gonna blend the things together that I want to put in and like how I'm gonna uh, represent the modern theme in it. Uh, but that's something that you can can add. Like, yeah, <laughs> it's not the proper way, so. but I think I can add it as an afterthought. Kind of, I, I know that's not the proper way to do it, but uh, that makes sense. It's a bit, bit like the thing that I, I was unsure about. Like, is it? Uh, imagine if you just grab medieval people, throw them in modern society, and see how they fared. Or is it more gonna be come up with like an entirely new sort of? Um, society where we just have a blend of the two aspects right yeah well well this is effectively a question of if there was some kind of portal that let us travel between the two worlds mm -hmm. how long has the portal been open for so is it like the first week that the portal's been open for and everything looks like just medieval people trying out modern mm -hmm. things or has it been open for like 20 years and you've mm -hmm. now got like you said like a brand new society because there's a lot of uh, interesting like topics that you could cover. You could do like motorcycle jousting. You could do like uh, fights to the death with I don't know uh, whatever weapons would would be available. I saw someone did like a medieval riot uh, police type character, which would make sense because then you can actually blend like a lot of things together. Um, I think the medieval riot police character him and updating his design for this project. Oh, really? Wait, have I seen this character? Do you remember the one I made? Mm. I made it ages ago. You probably have. Let oh. me send it. Okay. It was 20, 2021. Uh, I think it was 2020. Oh, 2020. This guy, the guy. Mm -hmm. Okay, let's have a look. Oh, yeah. That's a while ago. Yeah, he's pretty cool. He's, you know, like, like, I don't know meant existing work that <laughs> way. Uh, yeah, I mean, it's... You could revive him and try to update him. Up, update it, or take it in a different direction. I think you could definitely do but better now. I, I did now. like it, this design. Mm -hmm. yeah, yeah, I'm sure I could. We'll but see where things. Will I think go. the 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 one thing that it has shown me so far is how much, like I don't know how how many streams you've tuned into recently, uh, but I'm having such a good time, um, designing and drawing, mm -hmm. like from my imagination. Um, mm -hmm. I, I, the last time I did a study was, well, it was only last week, but when I'm doing a stream every day, that's that's, that's seven streams without a study. Mm -hmm. um, but yeah this this art station challenge it's not even a particularly interesting prompt but if I can do this and make it fun then I mm -hmm. feel like I could just make make my own prompt yeah exactly and have fun with that and like yeah. we discussed if we want to push like styles further like stuff like this is a good opportunity to sort of explore with the things that you like um, yeah. For characters, by the way, I like to start off with a bit of a face, so you can get like personality down. That's probably a good idea. I've just been enjoying drawing mm -hmm. dynamic figures. I should push shapes more. I think that would be fun. Mm -hmm. Like, I don't know if you saw um, my guest post on Tyler's Instagram, uh, but my tip there was doing character design based on personality. Like, that's the first thing to, to really define. Yes, I did. I did see that. I shared it. Oh, yeah, that's right. Thanks for that. Good, it's good. It makes sense. Oftentimes you get people who... Uh, designing and they don't know what they're designing which sums me up pretty much I mean it sums anyone just, up just that's drawing just drawing for this. yeah exactly this is a fun little yeah. uh, it's difficult uh, to resist the 
temptation. Mm -hmm. I think maybe I should just give myself more time as well because I'm I'm I keep trying to like make a, a finished article at the end of a a forty minute stream. And it's just not not really gonna happen. Mm -hmm. Yeah, don't worry about it too much. Just make sure that, like you said, you you enjoy what you're doing because I think that's really what's gonna. Uh, well, first of all, it's going to make it a lot more manageable to finish it by the deadline if you enjoy the process, rather than if you want to create something for the challenge, right? Just design something and use yeah, the prompt yeah, yeah. to uh, get inspired. Uh, that's how I look at it, at least. I wonder how liberal you can be with the prompt as well. Fairly liberal. I guess liberal. it depends on whether. Yeah, it yeah. depends on whether or not you care about the prize as well. Yeah, exactly. I mean. I mean, A, there isn't a prize. <laughs> B, the the, ch the chances of winning um, feel are fairly low, so I should just do what I want with it, really. Mm -hmm. um, yeah, that wouldn't but worry like, about you competition. Know, how, how fantasy can you go with it? Like last challenge, for You're example, going... I did the... Uh, um, uh, Dragon's Rise was the prompt, and I turned it all into monkeys. <laughs> Monkey dragons, but, but still monkeys. Uh, so, yeah, that's true, that's true. Yeah. And I'm going fairly, like, fancy heavy with this, yes. Yeah, maybe I should broaden my... my thoughts. You know, would a dragon get put in a petting zoo? Or... For example? What do you think of uh, like this guy? <laughs> got a very long face, honey. Yeah. yeah. I do like him. He, he, look, he looks pretty sly. What's mm -hmm. he planning? I do kind of like him. Let's see. See, that's why faces are fun, because you can get a personality down. And now, based on this personality, I can start like thinking of gestures and, and uh, body types. Yeah, yeah, that's a good point. I think, it, yeah, yeah. I'm producing, I'm producing stuff I'm fairly happy with in the time that I'm producing it. Mm -hmm. But I'm only, I'm not drawing very much. <laughs> only <laughs> drawing. Every time I stream is when I'm drawing. If I'm, if I'm drawing, I'm streaming, and um, that's only like an hour a day or something. Mm -hmm. I mean, an hour a day. It's already a good start, uh, but like maybe get a sketchbook down and like when you're on the go, make yeah, some sketches oh yeah. for this. I, yeah, I've been drawing on the train, doing that. Exactly. Now you've got a huge reference folder with all types of cool helmets and armors. I don't know if you've, you've had a glance went, at it, but uh, it's quite cool. Got some samurai stuff in there and everything. Yeah. That's the other thing is it doesn't say medieval Europe. True. Yeah, maybe cool. I should be looking further afield. Medieval uh -huh. um, Asia, I guess. Some kind of like the mm -hmm. Ming Dynasty. Don't know what year the Ming Dynasty was. But... I have no idea. And do you actually have a specific style that you plan on working in, or is it just winging it? Uh, I'm, I'm kind of, yeah, I'm kind of finding that the way I do things is becoming more stylized the more I draw, mm -hmm. and um, I imagine it's the same for you mm -hmm. because just the the more comfortable you get with drawing, the more you can warp things to your own benefit. Mm -hmm. I mean, you've seen me do it a couple of times in this stream where I I start drawing something and then I just transform it or warp it or. Uh, into some ridiculous shape. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, yeah, we'll we'll see what style it it ends up being. Mm -hmm. It's not going to be realistic. I think it's interesting that different characters are stylized to different levels as well. Mm-hmm. 
So some of them might have fairly normal proportions, depending on their, their personality, etc. Mm -hmm. and, and then other ones might be like... I'm glad that you started drawing a bit more as well instead of just painting, because for me that's really been a a big game changer when I started sketching more. It's huge. It's a huge game changer. Mm -hmm. To the point where I'm I'm not painting at all now, I'm just drawing. Mm -hmm. <laughs> um realizing how valuable drawing is. Mm -hmm. Kinda of mad. It's I kind of I'm a bit I'm a bit salty about it, to be honest. <laughs> that you spend so much time painting <laughs> yeah, that I spent I spent like three years being like, oh yeah, I'm gonna paint everything. Why draw anything when you can like paint everything? Um, and that was a, that was a that was a silly decision. Imagine had I been drawing for the past three years, how good I would be. I mean, it has gotten you fairly comfortable with colors, which is uh, maybe equally as valuable. Um, true. And I, I think when you're painting, you're still drawing, in a sense. You're mm -hmm. still organizing and expressing proportion and, and gesture and things like that. Mm -hmm. um, but the main it, thing it, is it that can be a bit uh, distracting. Yeah, when painting, you're just combining everything together and uh, not putting as much focus on the, the shapes, for example. I feel like that's actually, ironically, easier when drawing. When... A lot of people say like, oh yeah, just just paint shapes, uh, abstract shapes of value, and, and that's true. But learning how to draw them first has actually yeah, helped yeah. me a whole lot in, in redesigning my paintings, basically, right? I agree. and I, I also think, weirdly, without value, drawing shapes lets you... Uh, it lets me think harder about the form of the thing, like the, the 3D-ness of it. Mm-hmm. I don't know. I think I've basically I've lied to myself ever since I was a university student and said, <laughs> "Oh yeah, I I work way better when I'm like just painting things." Cuz I did I do enjoy painting. Um but actually I, I seem to work a lot better in line. Mm -hmm. But at the same time, is that just a result of me getting better at, as an artist and understanding the thing I'm drawing. Because if I had tried to do like line drawings, a couple, they would have been absolutely awful because I wouldn't have understood the thing I'm drawing, if that makes sense. Mm -hmm. When you're painting, you can be a lot more um, suggestive yeah, and vague, yeah, yeah. whereas you really have to know what it is you're drawing in order to draw it. Mm -hmm. uh, um, so I think that's probably why I defaulted, I and lots of other people defaulted to um, painting is I think it's a lot more forgiving mm -hmm. whereas with a line drawing it's like oh no that's that. It's wrong yeah it's going to look wrong it's going to look bad mm -hmm. it's definitely true although when it comes to the feedback that I give most of my students you know three like three quarters of the time uh, the feedback's going to be like get your perspective right, learn how to draw, <laughs> uh, instead of actually painting feedback. Um, yeah, yeah. Like that, that's like definitely the case for most of the students that I have. It's, it's always going to be, the, it's 90% of the time it's just going to be a drawing problem. Mm -hmm. And I don't know, maybe, maybe painting scene is more impressive than drawing and maybe that's why all the students and me wanted to do that as quickly as possible mm -hmm. and kind of neglect the drawing side of things mm -hmm. which is uh, uh, live and you learn eh? yeah that's right I mean it's kind of funny that you speak of it like uh, like almost like, like I'm an old man you've and, wasted and time I, with yeah. <laughs> <laughs> like it's too late now for you but <laughs> true yeah my career is over you know mm -hmm. I've retired I'm done for no that's a good point 
That's a good point. <laughs> I just need to... We should uh, we should open a concept art studio. That's what we should do. Uh, I've actually been been uh, doing some finances and, and figuring out how that would work if I would one day try to do that. I I just want to know how it would work internationally, like employing people from different countries. Uh, that sounds like a huge fact. studios do it. Like like there's a lot of online only studios, right? Without really yeah. Anything. In house, I know it's, I know it's done, but like, how does it work in terms of tax and everything else? It's just uh, that I'm it not seems sure very of. messy here. Mm -hmm. And I don't even know if my my bookie would know it because that's such a specific thing, like a concept art studio. I don't know about the UK, but in Belgium, like concept art's barely a thing. So, uh, like, it's quite big in the UK. Yeah. Yeah. I wonder. Looks like a fireman, not really a <laughs> soldier. Yes, or a, a French soldier from World War One. Yeah, maybe as well. <laughs> <laughs> it's a mustache. Mustache makes it look a bit more uh, World War One in French. I think so, yes. Like if I give him like a bit more of... How would that... How would, how would a goatee work when, with such a long chin? <laughs> like all it did make the face even longer, I think. <laughs> like all of this yeah. or, or just like... I've got to wait for the stream to load for me. Oh. There's delay, there's delay. You're still drawing his nose at the moment. Oh, I see. Oh, you started drawing his goatee. Uh huh. That's marvelous. That's... <laughs> yeah, I think maybe it would just be on the tip of his. Yeah, probably. Tip of his chin. Something I've noticed, by the way, uh, and this is because of the studies that we've done, but uh, a lot of the times when I'm doing a demo in class, students are complaining uh, that they can't see what I'm doing because. It zoomed out too much, <laughs> and even right now I'm drawing just in the corner of my screen instead of like going all the way like this. But that's just too too, too much space for me. Yeah, I got that on stream the other day. Mm -hmm. I I mean I mean minds to just say no, shove off. This is how zoomed in. I'm gonna do it. <laughs> <laughs> I guess you could zoom in in OBS if you made sure that you knew where you needed to zoom in. That's true, that's true. It's kind of funny, because that's a habit that we developed by doing our painted studies, which is a good habit to have. Just it specifically for, uh, yeah. for doing demos and streaming, it's not very useful. Not particularly, no. It applies well to, to drawing as well. Mm -hmm. They're still big relationships. Uh, right. Have any of the Belgians voted on the uh, accommodation yet? Uh, I actually don't know. Uh, let's have a look. Because I haven't checked it in a while. Me and Megan cast our vote. Yeah, I, I noticed. Like, honestly, either one is good for me. Uh, I think Megan wanted to have uh, a separate room. Separate room. Yeah, makes yeah. sense. Um, 
Yeah, it depends on what you want. More comfort or, or a better location. Uh, I'm up for anything. Like, nothing's really far if you can take the subway. Yeah, exactly. It's a, it's a fairly well-connected city, isn't it? Mm-hmm. Oh, yeah. Bram has uh, voted. Okay. Where's Bram voted for? Uh, For the same one as me, as well as the first one, which is the cheapest option. Oh, he... oh he's voted for two. Can we do that? Uh... Well, I guess. <laughs> I didn't say you couldn't, but I, I assumed everyone would just pick one favorite. Uh, I yeah, guess sure the XL you... will still count mm -hmm. votes. Right? Yeah. I'm sure if you want to cast more votes, go ahead. Um, I do think, by the way, that this is where I'll end this stream for now. We've been going for uh, like almost one and a half hour, I think. Let's see. Yep. Yeah. yeah. Um, oh yeah, I'm over ha one and a half hour. Yeah, so I guess <laughs> you're the only one left, Joe, but that's fine. No, oh, Jake, no, Jake's in chat. Oh, yeah, I see. Jake. Oh, thank you, Jake. Uh, sorry, I didn't read your message there. Um, well, in any case, Jake, thank you for joining. Um, I will definitely be trying to, to stream uh, more of the, the process of my character design challenge, because that's going to be fun to sort of have that uh, history replayable, I guess. Uh, and maybe people can learn from it, I guess. But for now, thank you for joining. Hopefully, I'll see you guys again next time. Um, so yeah, take care. And we're off.